Whew. What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back into the video on the channel, and today we are back with another, believe it or not, this is the second time that I'm doing another pizza that has been reviewed by Barstool, you guys probably are all familiar with Dave Portnoy and he does his one bite reviews, a lot of places are in my area, the last time I did it you guys enjoyed it, so I decided to try another one, full disclosure, again, this is a pizzeria that I'm actually familiar with, but I've actually never ordered their plain cheese pizza, so I did today, but I also went with some of the stuff that I like to go around that. So this is their cheese version. I got the 10-inch version instead of the, the larger one because I'm only just trying it. But you're not going to believe the prices at this place. This pizza was $7 and change. You don't see that anymore. But let me give you the restaurant. This place is known as Santoni's. It is located in Garfield, New Jersey. It has a 4.4 on Google. And I believe he gave his... I'll show you an overlay when... It gets to it, but I'll I believe he gave it a 7.3. I'll show you the overlay, but I'm 90% sure. I haven't watched a review in a while, but I do know he reviewed this place because everybody wouldn't stop talking about it. Again, these are all places that I'm from the area. They're not that far from me, so this pizza is actually still hot and fresh. So let's get into this. Let me show you what we got. Let's start off. I don't even know if I want to show you all this yet. This is my pizza. This is what I wanted. This is a me pizza right here. That's a him pizza. This is a me pizza. But I'll start off with the other stuff. I did get some appies. I got some fried ravioli and some garlic knots, so I wanted to try those out. Every time I've ever been to this place, I ordered one thing, a Sicilian pizza, so I'm not that familiar with a lot of the menu. I think I did get a pepperoni slice once, but never just a plain cheese. It's not my thing. Anyway, this sandwich is called a Godfather. I feel like everybody has a version. Let me turn this around because that's the way that it looks. So this is a Godfather. Look at this. Woo! Chicken cutlet, prosciutto, a pesto, aioli, and fresh mutts. I had to try it out. I love a good chicken cutlet sandwich, so we did get that. This, let's just get to it. This is the 10-inch plain cheese pizza. Let's see what we got. It looks standard fare. The thing that he said, because I did watch the review, that I wholeheartedly agree with, when you're in this area, there's just a lot of really good pizza places, and you're going to get a solid slice from anywhere. And this looks like exactly what I'm talking about. Now, for me, it's a little underdone, but I didn't ask for it well done. That's how I usually ask for my pizza, but I'm not really mad at it either, so that should be exciting. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all gonna... Uh, this is a big... Hold on. How the hell am I gonna do this? Here, let's slide this over real quick. Okay. This is crazy. This is a meat pizza. I've never had this before. I didn't even know they made it. It's called a Wicked Grandma. Power of editing. Let me show you this. This right here is the Wicked Grandma we have pepperoni, fresh mutts, of course, it's a grandma pizza, on a square pan with the everything seasoning crust and a hot honey drizzle. Say that five times fast if you want to, but I'm ready to try these pizzas. But let me set this up. I'm going to try the regular first. Again, it's only a 10 inch. You can get the 16. The 16 is not that much more expensive. I think it's like 10 bucks, believe it or not. This place is old. It's been there and since I believe the mid 80s, so their prices are really, really just for this area, you don't see stuff like that. Let's throw that sandwich there. Let's move you off and let's get to this. But let's get to this pizza right away. Let's open this bad boy up. See what we got. Still, still got a nice little bake to it. Not much of a flop. We like to see that. Now, again, for me, I like this a little more well done. I would have specified it, but I just asked for it as is for review's sake. Let's try it. It's exactly what I said. The sauce is solid. The cheese is solid. And for me, I would have liked more of a well-done bake. I said the same thing three times because I need to reiterate. Most of the time when I order pizza, and if I'm getting it my way, I ask for it well done. Which is something that they do at most pizzerias. This, for me, is undercooked. But if you baked it longer, I would have liked it even more than I do. This is a first. He said 7-3. I'm inclined to agree with it. It's just a solid slice of pizza. Not really my thing, but this, when I think of getting a pizza where I'm from, North Jersey, this is exactly what I want. I wouldn't be mad at this at any day. And $7 for this, I'm almost inclined to actually throw it up more points because of that. But based off taste and own, rating against the real deal type of pizzas, 
I think 7-3 is very fair. Now, that might be the first and last time I ever agree with my man. But I like it. Let's try the pizza that is way more up my alley. Excuse me if I sound a little bit more excited, because this one just... If this is you, I respect it, but this is way more me. I'm going to say it again. This is a pan pizza with everything seasoning crust. It's called a Wicked Grandma, so it's a traditional grandma pie, but the difference is it has pepperoni and a hot honey drizzle. Hot honey is all the rage these days, but I have to admit, when you get it with pepperoni, it just works. I hope this is as good as it looks. Again, I would have asked for it well done, but I didn't. So, the bake may not be what I like. Let's see. Let me hold it. That's fine with me. It's a big piece. Nice and thin. Ooh. I'm going to tell you what. They have the best usage of hot honey that I've seen with a hot honey pizza. It's like the perfect amount. I'm getting a really good amount on every single bite. And this crust with the everything bagel seasoning, my goodness. This is good. Mm. I need to be more thorough in how I order my pizza. If I ask for this well done, even better. But the pepperoni is still pretty crispy. I do prefer the cups as opposed to what you're getting here because it isn't cooked as long. I need that cup. But the flavor on this is really good. It's about the going rate. I know people may say $24 is expensive for a pizza. I agree with you. Anytime people serve you a square pie like this, it always costs more. you would be hard-pressed to find one under 20 bucks. At least the ones that I've gone to. But this is a guilty. This is good. We put this in the oven for five more minutes. And I'm probably eye rolling right about now. Because more places need to do that with the crust. That's um Okay, one more bite. One more bite. One more bite. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes the getting is good. Shall see that? Look at this. And the crust is really good. The dough is really good. It's not a bad bite. Mm. It's like addictive. Next time, I'm just going to say five more minutes. But I still really, really like this. I give this an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Every pizza around here is just good, man. I don't even know what to tell people at this point. But let's know. Let's go to the sandwich. I love a good sandwich. This is called a Godfather. Did they cut this? They didn't cut this. I might have to. Hold on. I need to get a knife. I gotta cut that. Gotta cut this. I need a, I need a cut on this. It is cut, but it's just not cut well enough, I guess. So there's a decent cut on there. Don't try this at home. That, that cradle method I just used, not the smartest thing in the world. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of iceberg lettuce, but this is like arugula. I don't really care for it, but I'll still eat it. That thing's dripping. A little surprising though. Is that chicken cutlet? Normally that's breaded. This is grilled, but you get the saltiness from the prosciutto. A little bit of that peppery from the arugula. The chicken's not dry, thank goodness. And I do get that pesto in there. It's a drippy thing, though. Good quality mutts, too. Let me see this prosciutto. There it is. It's all about the quality of cold cuts, man. It's a pretty good sandwich. Ooh, might want to get that checked out. I don't know what that was. 
that boy Muffler gonna be on the ground in like five minutes. But I I don't know why it, it just does it didn't it didn't land the way that I thought it would. And yes, there, there's just as number of lettuce there. Give me the chicken, bro. I wouldn't be mad at that sandwich, but still not an S tier sandwich. I like it, but I don't love it. I give it a seven out of ten. Solid. Seven is always solid for me. It's a nice solid seven. And last, Appy's garlic knots. Fried ravioli. Their sauce is fresh made. It's homemade. Now, I think the sauce is different from the one they put on their pizza, from what I remember. I used to get, like, mutsi sticks from here, but I never got. Let's try the fried ravioli out. Well, damn. That sauce... If you don't like garlic, you're going to be mad at this sauce. That's heavy on garlic. You know? Did you see my reaction? Very, very, very accurate. These, to me, again, this just seems like it's good. There's nothing about this that sets it apart. The breading on it is good. There's enough ravioli in the middle. Got a good crunch to it, but if you've watched my other videos where I've given 10s, you probably might know what I'm talking about. It's just one of those things that it's solid. Everything here that I've had is solid. And a lot of people swear by this place, but some people just want solid pizza. And you'll get that here. I'll give this a six and a half out of 10. And the garlic knot... I'm not going to, I can't say that. Keep it clean. <laughs> I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say that. Box. It's not, which it's not. How do I say this? I'm, again, I got to be honest, but of course I have to be respectful in the same way. When I get a garlic knot, I don't like when they're doughy like this. This has the consistency of just straight up bread. It doesn't even really have much of like a baked texture to it where the outside gets a little bit of something on it. It doesn't, as opposed to when you get bread like this, that it doesn't taste like these are toasted. And there's not a ton of garlic. It just tastes like bread. It doesn't really taste like anything else. Like, And as far as the sauce goes... The sauce on the pizza is better than the one you get in the dipping sauce. That's the only thing I've had that I've been, like, disappointed in. I would give those a 3 out of 10. For me, when I think of this place, I think of old school. I think of solid all the way around. But in 2023, this is just, again, for what I personally look for in a pizza. I just feel like the competition is much more fierce than it used to be. And people are doing things that are more like with the times, and I prefer things that are more with the times, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that pizza, it's just good, this was the standout, as I said before, it just needed a little more of a bake to it, but this is something I would get every time, but you really can't beat $7 for a 10 inch pie, or 10 and change for a large pie, I'm not going to be mad at that, this is just like most people that I know have gotten stuff from this has been like, okay, it's Sunday night. What can we get? Let's go here. A lot of people used to stop by. It's close to like a high school and like a YMCA. And a lot of people would go after school to get a slice from here. And for that, you can't really go wrong. That's just my honest opinion. And their prices in this time, and you, you can't beat that. Can't beat it. So I hope they stay open forever. I don't think they'll ever be, a ch unless somebody decides to close it down, it won't be because there won't be people there. It's always packed. There's always a line. There's always people trying to go in and out. And at one point, I was even one of them. It's just that now as a food reviewer, I've gotten a chance to try so many different pizzas from all over that it now just turns into good instead of like what I consider great. Would I eat this pizza again? Hell yeah. In a heartbeat. Can't go wrong with it. You never put a foot wrong and they've been doing it for a long time. 7-3 was fair. This 
is more up my alley, but not quite in the like super elite categories. This is just in that very, very good category, which isn't bad either. But Sunday night, Kansas City is beating the, uh, uh, I was going to say a curse word, <laughs> the Jets. And uh, I'm going to try to catch the rest of the game and get ready for the week ahead. But I wanted to stop in and, and try another. I want to see if his ratings are like my ratings. And right now, they're in the same ballpark. So that's pretty good. We'll be back tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.